sharpen the axe. Explore the bleeding edge of guitar and bass gear. Discover a sound uniquely your own and cut through the noise. With your hosts, Eric Lucero and Paul Berezetsky. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode post NAM 2017 of Sharpen the Axe, powered by Pitbull Audio on Intertalk Network. I am Eric. To my left here is Paul. What's hey, up, hey. Paul? Uh, not much, not much. Right on. How was your uh, How was your NAM experience while we were over there? Uh, v- very, very hectic and very wet, very rainy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was uh, pretty torrential in terms of weather there, but still fun times and all kinds of cool stuff seen. Uh, today we have in front of us. Uh, Three of the pedals that are part of the NAM Celebration Guitar Gear Giveaway, which uh, is being uh, powered by Mission Engineering. Uh, let's see. Actually, let me go down the full list right here. I have to get my digital notes here. All kinds of cool stuff happening uh, or being given away, I should say. Uh, an ESP FRX 401 guitar, a Supro 1600 Supreme Combo. Yum. Yeah, right. The uh, Strymon Riverside, which is in front of us, a multi-stage drive pedal, a Line 6 Relay G70 wireless system, an Eventide H9, excuse me, Eventide H9 Max, uh, which is in front of us as well. Double yum. Right. The uh, Mission Engineering SP-H9 expression pedal, which is meant to go with this lovely beast right here. Mm. A Mission Rewa Pro, uh, a Paradox Fuzz E-Cat Fuzz, an Empress Reverb, the new Earthquaker Devices Space Spiral Delay. All of that will fit on the Pedal Train Novo 24 pedal board you're going to get. And to connect it all, you're going to get some Best Tronics Pro Audio cables. It's, Ain't that neat. It's just unreal. It's, right? It really it's is. a sick rig. It is a complete rig with your drives, <laughs> your fuzz. Uh, the, this takes, the even tide takes care of your modulation. You got a killer re, uh, a delay from... Uh, uh, from uh oh wow earthquake uh, devices, devices. I, i'm a little on uh six so my mind's not functioning as properly as it should but you also get the pedal board and the amp to run it through and all the cables it's uh it's pretty wild pretty yeah. nuts uh, amazing <laughs> rig. I, I, I want one I, and i i've said before on this show i, I love the supro amps the yeah. even tide pedal just we were just messing around with this b- before the show it's just got some gorgeous gorgeous sounds in it and everything else is i mean if you'd be crazy, just sign up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> sign up. Give it a chance. There's, you might win it. Yeah. There's n- no no downside to this. Yeah, pretty much. And we, we got to thank, uh, send a shout out to uh, uh, all the companies that participate in it. And uh, uh, Paul and James over at Mission Engineering, thank you guys for helping us put this together. Absolutely. And uh, the, the really cool thing about this contest is these are all you know different effects companies, but because all of them make a wide uh, array of different effects, you could just you know mix and match one where they're absolutely you're not you're not really competing with another company, but complementing all, all the sounds and colors. And this right. is an amazing giveaway. This is nuts. And we've been having some fun uh, before the show here, running say the fuzzy cat into <laughs> all the wild, crazy stuff that comes out of this H nine. Uh, Oh, well, on top of it, there's three different versions of the H9. There's the uh, the core, which is like the the least amount of stuff in there, the standard one, and then the Max, which has everything that's in the pitch factor, time factor, uh, space, and uh, I know I'm forgetting one. There's another one, but it's all in the Max, and we have the Max in front of us today. But yeah, it's a bitching contest. Uh, you literally are getting the complete rig. So go to uh, the Facebook page uh, and the website for uh, Enter Talk Radio. You can find the links there and enter. The f- first time I uh, really saw one of these uh, up close was actually at NAM a couple of years ago, where uh-huh. the guy that was demoing it was running it in stereo through like two uh, into <laughs> like boogie boogie amps and in stereo like the reverb he had going. It was just like I was like I'm in church. Yes, yeah. <laughs> cavernous and epic, right? <laughs> it was epic, so epic. And these things are so feature packed. You got a uh, uh, believe stereo ins and outs. You also have a uh, USB. Or if you want to run MIDI if through 5-pin uh, instead of uh, USB, it's available there. And uh, you can connect to it, uh, I believe, wirelessly with Bluetooth and use the app to edit and change out what you want. Mm. It is a uh, flexible beast so, there. So like with your smartphone, right? You can yes. just hook up. Or iPad. Or, or iPad. Yeah. I think, it, I think it works on Android, too. I hope so. But uh, 
Oh yeah, let's just we've been we've been having fun with this one called <laughs> spelunking. So I'm gonna turn this on. And how about you? <laughs> show us what you were doing with it. I, I, I need my techno beat back. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, there's, um, I haven't even, we barely even dove in uh, just messing with this thing before the show of how much is in here. We just kind of like, picked a random spot in the middle and kind of went back and forth <laughs> yeah. on it. But uh, it, uh, let's see, let's just go to something else. Oh, number 58, which I forgot what they call here. The uh, bottomless or something. But distortion combo yeah yeah I guess you could say it's a toolbox yeah pretty much yeah <laughs> yeah pretty much a little bit of Adam Jones in there Even though that has a pretty nice, uh, like, uh, distortion or uh, almost fuzzy on it, uh, I was trying it out with uh, the fuzzy cap before and really liking that layering over it. I, uh, again, shout out to the Paradox guys. I love just running anything after that and, and turning on the oscillation. Oh, I turned off the oscillation. That would sound better with it. Do it again. No, I'm not doing that. Right. Get a harmonic, though. what it's doing <laughs> see it's we're probably we're probably making the uh the blues lawyers in our in our fan base here turn it off but i love this noise blues lawyers <laughs> <laughs> so, so just as a brief uh refresher course for those who didn't uh uh tune in to the uh, paradox effects the fuzzy cat is just a nice uh uh, rather punchy for a fuzz that also has that uh, oscillation on there when you flip it down. Like a yowling cat. It's a nice, <laughs> it's nice noisemaker, right? Yeah, it totally. wants to mate with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But it uh, pairs well with many other effects. It's It's a great one, and it's part of the prize pack. Now, here in the middle, we got uh, the newest from Strymon, which is the Riverside multi-stage drive. It's got cascading gain stages, a high impedance in, one single out. It's got a uh, jack for the boost and an expression pedal input as well, so you can pair it up with any of the Mission Engineering uh, uh, expression pedals. Uh, it's got three-band EQ, of course, your gain knob and your volume. It's also got a presence switch on the back of it, so it's uh, you can have less or more or just... Uh, you know, the middle ground right in the middle. It's got a high or low gain toggle and a mids toggle uh, up for normal, uh, down for enhanced mids. But uh, uh, the company that was uh, before Striving, the same guys called Damage Control, uh, they had a couple gain boxes that were pretty popular. So people were really anticipating uh, the new drive coming out. How about you give us a nice little demonstration? <laughs> Nice. 
Nice. So I got uh, the EQ at noon right now. The presence right in the middle of that three-way uh, toggle. The uh, gain is on low, and it's on normal. Uh, the uh, gain I had uh, just a, just above maxed out. Let's go. Let's go a little bit down and do a little bit of like a just a boost sort of thing. <clears throat> Turn it up a little. Let's compare that real quick. Uh, that was, I should have done this beginning, but this is you clean. Just clean. Yeah. And now this is on. A little dirt in there. Yeah, just a little bit. I mean, even if you have a amp that's already you know on the breakup spot, this would be a nice push over. But uh, let's you know let's turn it up about here. And that was with the uh, mids in the normal position, so it's all flat. Now this is enhanced mids. Again, the EQ is flat aside from this now. There you go. Nice crunch in there. Right? And that's still on the low gain. Uh, mm -hmm. The first time we turned this on, it was actually, you know, not quite dined out, but just above there. Let's tweak the EQ a little bit. So we already got enough mids. So I'm going to leave that in the middle. I'm going to drop the bass a little for some bite and up the treble. Why the songs in my head? <laughs> I kind of recognize it, but it's escaping me a little it's, bit. It's uh, September, Earth, Moon, oh, and Fire. Ah. Do uh, you remember? That's it. That's the one. I remember. Now, let's try, let's go up a little high gain, mid to normal, and I'm going to turn that, turn that uh, presence up, because I like bright stuff. You want to take this one? You like the heavy stuff. <laughs> I'll go with it, yeah. So I'm going to turn it uh, just a little bit past noon. Uh, gain is on high, the uh, mid switch is on normal, and yeah, bass up, travel a little bit up, and hell, why not, a little bit mids up. The song? Yeah. Uh, Jesus Lizard, Mouth Breather. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> cool a riff. nice, brutal track. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, Dwayne Dennison, Master of Heavy Riffs, man, uh, uh, from the Jesus Lizard. Uh, let's, you know, let's dime this thing out. I'm going to put the mids up. so rich sounding right yeah i was uh, i didn't know what to expect uh when they were gonna do a drive I, I didn't really ever get much experience on the damage control stuff aside from uh just a test in a store here or two back when they were around uh but it, it you know what i i'm i'm actually impressed at the range that this thing has yeah. like uh, we were doing you know sort of lower gain uh uh boosted just above boost or getting into dirt stuff on your side and it sounded pretty good. I mean, the uh, EQ on here is pretty sweet. It's got that uh, flexibility with the mid boost or flattening and the presence control. So there's you could get some great tones out of this box. Sure. Now, 
How about seeing what this thing can do uh, stacked with the fuzz? All right. Let's let you try that. Oh, wait. Oscillator <laughs> off. Yeah. The cat scares me. <laughs> That's an angry cat. <laughs> And the cat is knocked out. There we go. <laughs> oh. What happened there? <laughs> nah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh. One thing I forgot to mention that I thought was pretty cool on the Strymon is that it has a favorite button. And what's uh, cool there is that you can set something that's your favorite, your go-to, be it your searing mm -hmm. lead tone or your go-to rhythm crunch. Mm -hmm. Save it there, and you can always uh, switch in and out of it if you want. So you can have and something. You just like you press it and hold it for a few seconds or something. Yeah, sure. Let's or, let's try. Or is that just? Oh, it's it's a dedicated. Oh yeah, it's dedicated. It's, ah, it's, nice. There's two switches on the front of it. Okay. Right hand side is bypass, and the left hand one is favorite. So let me cool. set something real quick. <laughs> There we go. I had to let I had to let you finish it. You cannot not complete that phrase. So I'd set something uh, there that I like. Uh Let's uh, Man, do something I'm different. Jealous of the humbuckers now over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a JV in here, right? Yeah. Yeah. So lots of rich harmonics. And, uh, and a you're great tuned, one from Seaman. And you're tuned down to D now, right? Yeah. Yeah. As best as my quick tuning could do, but uh, I got that nice heavy tone set in. But let's uh, redo this. So I set it to uh, low gain, flattened mids, medium presence, and uh, pretty much medium bass and treble, and just a little bit of boost in mids. Drive is about a third of the way up. And here I go into the favorite. Back into the other. And back to crunch. There you go. So there, uh, you basically have a two-channel drive yeah. pedal here yeah yeah very cool and you can like i said you can add in a uh, six decibels of boost if you want by adding in a, a boost switch into the back there uh strymon makes one that you can add on or you could add in an expression pedal and uh, i'll be honest i don't know exactly what you it's assigned to maybe it's more than one thing but it's there if you want it and um like a tone maybe or a gain or it could gain. be that. yeah or the eq very cool all, all pretty clever in design now, let's try something random with the... I'm just going to move the magic dial on the face of the even tide. <laughs> and we're going to run and see how the Strymon stacks with whatever I've picked now. Oh, we're clipping. Oh. Oh, this is a pretty clean sound. <laughs> Getting your Adrian Ballou on over there, I like it. Let's let's switch it around. Let's see where it stops. Nobody knows. Forty eight. Quiet. 
chorus bumps, it says. Oh. I, was, I was hoping for something I'd land on something a bit more drenched. Yeah. Let's see. That's a subtle one. Here we go. Vit, whatever this is. Vintage. Ooh. And kicking on the buzz. <laughs> Might have picked the wrong drive to, uh, well, no, it's never a wrong drive. see what else we got on here there really is just endless stuff on this uh, h9 and uh if i have the deal right as they keep making algorithms uh for the h9 when you buy the max or you win could, it you could keep downloading more yeah for free Sweet. and otherwise i think if you buy the others you usually have to buy them but i could be wrong on that let's go way past where we were before something here. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> it's like instant Mario yeah, soundtrack. Yeah, I dig this. Nintendo. Wait, wait, do you know the Mario theme? Oh, no. Uh, uh. That's something I feel I should know by now. <laughs> I just know the rhythm. We tried. <laughs> but I got the rhythm and the tone. I just don't know what the notes are. Uh, yeah, it's two thirds uh, of the way there. I think I'm going to be learning that when I get home today. But uh, oh, you get 99 uh, presets here, and there is an but, uh, X, Y, and Z uh, to to edit some parameters on here. But oh, rad! <laughs> All right, so I am a, a big uh, glitch head, like uh, s like a sample and hold and uh, uh, stuttery sort of stuff. And no one told me that there's a dedicated glitch uh, thing on here. So I like that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, uh, if e anyone from Eventide is listening, can you put this patch in one single pedal for me? <laughs> I will pay you handsomely for it. I really like this. <laughs> I've never seen your face light up like this before. <laughs> Wait, I want to try to see what happens with the oscillator. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's what kind of... That's the kind of fun we like to have here on Sharpen the Axe is, okay, what does this do? What can we combine it with and what we what can we mess with and change? Ooh. Uh, can, what, what is this one? It says <laughs> funk. Funk. Uh, kill that one? Yeah. It's 
it's got like a compressor in there, I assume, of some sort. And a little bit of tone shaping, maybe yeah. a little bit of drive. But that does go to show that, aside from all the crazy pitch and delay and uh, and modulation, that you do have some, you can do some just general tone shaping stuff with the H9 and, as well. And this had a fad distortion in there. Do you remember where, where that was that we were playing around uh, with in the beginning? Yes. Number 58. There we are. That one? I guess so. Yeah. Oh, this is with the octave, right? Yeah. Was there another one? This one's fun. All right, yeah. But I think there was a straight distortion too, no? Or, or was this it? Uh... Ah, here we are. Go with it. No. <laughs> oh, nope. I, I saw a DAS and That's I, cool though. a DIS. Oh, this is a disappearing. Awesome. Well, these, these sounds just like trigger stupid stuff from like high school. <laughs> H9, inspiring the 14-year-old in all of us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we're getting uh, pretty close to our commercial break here. We're going to take a quick break for uh, just a couple of yeah, minutes. Yeah, a couple of minutes, yeah. And we're actually going to talk to Paul Shedden on the other side of the break, who awesome. uh, pretty much helped put this whole crazy contest together for with Mission Engineering and... Uh, all the other companies. Yes. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, but yeah, we uh, will thank Paul and uh, they'll be back in a couple minutes. <laughs> I want to join this contest. I know. We're no, barred. Why, why we can't. can't. I want this pedal. All right. This is uh, Sharpen the Accent, EnterTalkRadio.com. We'll be right back. Talk to you soon. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. From leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, and American Audio. To sound your best, you need the best. Pitbull Audio can deliver in rehearsal, on stage, and into the big time. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can help make it happen. We are Pitbull Audio. We want you to play it loud. PitbullAudio.com. This is Jackie Bertoni from Jackie's Groove. Come join me weekly on my journey through the music business as I take you behind the velvet rope, interviewing industry notables such as Al Miola, Michael McDonald, and Al Giroux, to name but a few. Listen to their stories on being in the studios recording number one hits and onto the stages throughout the globe. Allow me to be your music historian. You can hear me live every Monday at 2 p.m. and every Wednesday at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time or 24-7 on Jackie'sGroove.com. Ready to get your groove on? Hi, I'm Tim Dolbear, the host of Sound Experience on Intertalk Radio. Each week, I talk with top professional audio engineers, producers, musicians, and the manufacturers that make the tools that we use in the studio each and every day. From capturing the perfect take to mastering your final release and the tools and how the pros use them, we are going to dive deep into their process and learn from their experience. I look forward to you joining us each week on Sound Experience with me, your host, Tim Dolbear. Hey, it's Tracy Smith and Beth Venus of Girls Talk Rock right here on the Inner Talk Radio Network. Every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Pacific. Okay, Beth, they know that, but we want you to know that the industry pro's choice is Silver Tiger Production. STP is a full-service production agency offering sound, lighting, installations, talent buying, staffing, backline equipment rental and sales. Kapow! It's everything in the entertainment performance industry. It's all at... It's all that! SilverTigerProduction.com. Welcome to Sharpen the Axe. Explore the bleeding edge of guitar and bass gear. Discover a sound uniquely your own and cut through the noise. With your hosts, Eric Lucero and Paul Berzetsky. And we're back. Hey, guys. 
And we have with us uh, one of our first guests, uh, Paul Shedden of Mission Engineering. You there, Paul? I am indeed. It was awesome getting to see you at NAM, and thank you for getting uh, helping us get this contest together. This is uh, pretty insane, a full-on rig. This is epic. Yeah, I, I, yeah, even I was kind of surprised how quickly it grew. And, you know, some of the guys, like, you know, I just walked up to the people. Obviously, we know quite a few people in the industry. You know, walked up to Earthquake at the show and said, hey, we're doing this competition. I didn't have to say who else was in it. He said, yeah, we're in, you know, and things like that. So, <laughs> you know, amazing. But then when you explain to people, you know, the whole concept of giving back to all our loyal fans that, you know, keep us in business and, you know, a chance to kind of celebrate us all working together. You know, anyone c c couldn't really say no to that. I don't think anyone I approached said no. So that was pretty cool, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, while we got you on the line, was there uh, anything at NAM, uh, new at NAM for you that you want to talk about? Uh, yeah, I guess, if you don't mind spending a minute or two on that. So, sure. yeah, um, we were pretty uh, excited to, you know, because you really want to tell people before now, but you know you can't. It's kind of the protocol <laughs> and stuff. So um, probably the, the one that's going to be available quickest that people might be interested in is um, a variation on our um, uh, analog volume pedal. It's in our new chassis, you know, the aluminium chassis. So it has the rounded rear end, so you can use it for sitting down or standing up. So it's good for keyboard players as well as guitarists. Mm, nice. um, but the cool thing is, it has a totally illuminated base. And so uh, when you use the toe switch to mute it for your tuning, it turns red. And when you disengage the, the muting so you can play again, it turns either your choice green or blue. So it's very visual. You can see immediately whether you've left it in the mute position or the, the live position. Um, so we're pretty cool, you know, pretty excited about that one. That should be ready sort of end of February. We should be shipping that. Um, the other one, which is probably, I think I'm right in saying there's nothing like it in the marketplace, which is what we like to do at Mission, is uh, not available till May. So maybe I shouldn't be getting people too excited about it now, but obviously I'm excited about it already, mm -hmm. which is um, called the VXP. And what it is, is a volume pedal and expression pedal. No big deal. People have done that before. But this one, um, you can set it at the start and the stop point in terms of you know minimum maximum volume minimum maximum expression send uh the type of curve you know linear non-linear reverse um sawtooth um you can tell it for this particular song you're going to be a volume pedal only for the second song you're going to be ex uh, expression pedal only for the third song you're going to be one of each and these are your parameters mm. and the cool thing is you control the whole thing via bluetooth from your smart device so you save um, the presets, I would suggest, under the song name, um, so that that way you just have your, your iPhone, your, your smartphone on your, on your um, like a microphone stand. And as you go through your, your musical set, you can just hit one button. It sends it straight to the, uh, the VXP via Bluetooth, sets it up instantly, and now it's whatever you've programmed it to be under that preset. That's pretty amazing. Uh, that's, cool. Yeah, I look forward to that. Uh, well, you, you already have one customer with me with that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, that, that's that's good. If you if you like it, then it's it's probably good. I mean, w w the reason we did it was was the reason the, the problem not problem that's not the right word to use. That, what we didn't like about doing just a straightforward expression and volume pedal combined is it's very rare that you want to change the volume at the same time as you're controlling the expression. Now, of course, you control those things maybe from a, a foot controller, from the device it's connected to, et cetera, but it's very difficult to, you know, use the same pedal efficiently, whereas with the, the programming, you literally can say, well, on this song, I just want it to be a volume pedal, so that's fine. You just set it to be a volume pedal. Second song expression, so it really could be um, the one pedal on your board that acts across on multiple uses um, and is useful to have that functionality. And it's going to run via an app, you said? Or program uh, via an app? Say again? It's going to be programmed like that via an app? Yeah, it would be programmed uh, via, the, via the Bluetooth. Right so, on. so literally, you, it's a, a very clever software, simple to use interface where, you know, you just scroll down the different values for minimum, maximum and you select your type of sweep and uh, you just put save as preset name it done move on to the next one and then when you want to recall it you just literally pull up presets um choose the preset you want hit send to vxp and it instantly sends it to the vxp and sets it up the way you've saved the preset 
Holy crap. Very cool. <laughs> the, the only problem I can foresee is, you know, Eric is up there on stage uh, in between songs, and I'm like, oh, my God, he's on his phone. He's, like, texting. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the middle of a show, bud. Yeah. Oh, shit, there's yeah. an audience there. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's true. Stop <laughs> checking may, your texts. Yeah. Maybe have some friends stood beside the stage setting it up for you if you can trust them. You can't, <laughs> you can't trust anyone. That's I, true. You can't trust them. What am I thinking? What never I trust saying? anyone around your pedal <laughs> settings. That means I have to pay it's, a roadie, it's been, it's too. It's been a long day, and I'm still not recovered from NAMS, and my brain. <laughs> clearly not quite recovered yet you're right what am i what i was saying <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah there, there's a, like so, a two to three week like come down from nam including uh, uh any sickness caught there any dealings afterwards it never ends yeah, yeah tell me about lots of people coming down with nam thrax um <laughs> which is uh luckily i avoided this year but i know quite a few people got it come to think I, of I it uh, a, a yeah. couple of years ago, I went to Nam as I like I started like falling apart in the car on the way there where I started coming down with, with a flu. And now that I think about it, I must have infected so many people while I was there. Just... You, you were infecting the Nam Thrax? Yeah. You were Not, patient zero? I was patient zero. Like in 2015, I was patient zero. <laughs> I must have laid out hundreds of people. Uh, well, you, probably too late because it's now public knowledge. <laughs> you that to yourself. Now, now I know who to blame next year. Mm. But uh, the other the other one that you yeah, no, uh... No, uh, I mean that's that's basically it. They're our main uh, launches for 2017. We also brought out um, a small and I and I emphasise the word small. It's only 29 pounds in weight. Uh, it fits in an overhead aeroplane um, you know compartment, so it's travel friendly. Uh, one by 12 um, main woofer and a one inch uh, tweeter full range flat response um, cabinet for modelers. That's um, 400 or was it 450 watts i should know really um so it's we're pretty happy with it it's uh, people were saying that you know for traveling musicians you know our gemini range is you know it, it sounds amazing but it, they're heavy um so this is our um solution to that it's basically a very lightweight but very capable full range flat response um small powered uh, cabinet so for the guys that are doing their fly rigs with a uh axe effects or with a line six helix they can have that in its bag on your backpack. You can get this new Gemini uh, 112 with a tweeter and Take just be mobile. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. GMIO, we're calling it. So GM, short for Gemini, and IO, which is a small moon, I believe, around the, around the planet of Saturn. I could be wrong with that. Your, your viewers will be writing in saying, don't you even know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our our it, astronomer it's, it's guitar players. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's along the theme, mission, mission control. We like to name things after mm. celestial, celestial things. Right on. Good call. Good call. I, I never have to try and stuff my Mesa boogie in the overhead compartment again. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see you do that. Actually, or try. <laughs> I'll say that that make for a great Snapchat video. I just want to yeah. see that happening now. I just want a video of myself getting escorted off a plane in handcuffs. I, I think it would go viral. <laughs> yeah, guitarist kicked off plane with amp. That's that'd be brilliant. Now. Uh, for our uh, for those interested in entering the contest, uh, could you tell uh, could you tell us what what they have to do to enter? Um, yeah, really really simple. So I think you asked what they have to do to enter. It's very quiet uh, um, part part of the conversation. I'm okay. not hearing it entirely, um, but yeah, it's real simple. They go to um, either to enter talk radio. Obviously, there's a, I believe you guys have put up a, a way to enter from from there. Uh, I guess under the two shows, right? The um, changing stages and sharpen the axe um, or they can go to missionengineering.com and click on our uh, blog um, uh, effects sorry blog effects effect blog even i'll get it around the right way in a minute and then it's, there's a link in there um, and the, I, b I believe there's a form where you sign away your first born and you have to give up a bunch of blood right only if they beat me to the prize i wish i could <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, exactly. It's completely free to enter. Obviously, we, we gain as manufacturers because we hopefully collect some enthusiastic subscribers that we mm -hmm. can tell about our new products as they come out and, and give subscriber offers. I mean, most of us try to put together special deals throughout the year for just for our loyal subscribers. So, yeah, there's something in it for us, but ultimately we want to give back and show people that we can work together as an industry um, to put together amazing rigs. For awesome. sure. Awesome. And, it, and again, we have put together, uh, you guys have put together a insane rig. It really is from instrument to speaker cabinet, a, a ramp, everything in there. It's it's pretty rad. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, let, let's be honest. I guess 
whoever wins the prize, the, there might be things they look at and go, I've already got that or it's not for me, whatever. But, you know, personally, I'd love to win it. And I wish I could enter it because <laughs> we, we did we did kind of try to think about, you know, covering all the various things that you would want on your board so that it's pretty much every, all the main effects, the main, you know, controls you'd want are are on this, you know, built into this rig. Plus, of course, an amazing amp and a, and a really good quality guitar as well. So, um, yeah, absolutely. I think someone's going to be hopefully made up. And I, I, you guys are going to invite them on the show, right, to talk about um, how they're getting on with the rig and what they're doing with it. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Love to hear what they're doing with it and and see, <laughs> yeah, and see if there ain't, is anything in there that they already have that they might want to, I don't know, give to me or sell to me just in case. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> a tip it's like yeah, yeah exactly. tipping your waiter it's, yeah exactly <laughs> some might call it a kickback but sure a tipping a waiter a bribe yeah <laughs> well you live in a land of corruption right yeah. might as well participate or not it depends on your moral high ground uh any, anyways after that non sequitur um <laughs> yeah. but uh it's it's really awesome and again we can't thank you enough paul and, and uh james as well for helping us put this together i mean it really is one well, hell of a contest. Oh, do... This is a group effort, right? All of us, you know, that's the whole point of it. We're kind of all working together to prove that we can um, not just think about ourselves, that we can we can give back. So, you know, thank you for you guys for bringing attention to what we're doing here. And, you know, let's hope that this is successful. We have enough people out there are excited enough about this competition. We'll know from, from numbers. So it's down to you guys, all you people listening, uh, you know, get involved because if we get enough people interested next year we'll make it bigger and better we'll maybe go for either a bigger more impressive rig or maybe two rigs to give away or wow. but, you know, if uh, if we get uh, a lackluster response everyone goes nah i don't want to win that it'd be like well maybe we won't bother next year yeah <laughs> I, I really can't see that happening or no hopefully not yeah hopefully not but I've, it's, it's, it's my english sense of humor although <laughs> although if there's a lackluster response that's more more odds of me winning it <laughs> or, or me or, yeah. i'm not sure somewhere in the small print it says that if we don't get ten thousand people enter it all goes to me isn't, isn't that yeah, what you put in yeah. the small print yeah exactly or, yeah. Or, or my shell company it's going <laughs> yeah, yeah, to go to me yeah, the, the subsidiary point zero three size font it's somewhere in there <laughs> it's, it's going to go to the cayman islands <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man standing on a beach playing with that lot Ooh. That's right. That's yeah, and that's uh, also a great way to find out what sand does to electronics. Nah. <laughs> we'll we'll <laughs> yeah. see w which pedal survives. <laughs> yeah. But again, uh, that that, awesome uh, that collaborative. So, yes, no, thank you in return for say supporting the competition and getting the word out. That's all very much appreciated. Oh no yeah. worries, anytime, man. Uh, and yeah, again, that spirit of collaboration of everyone coming together. It's a beautiful thing, and I mean, you guys uh, exemplify it with the uh, collaborations you do for the. H9 Helix, the uh, the Kemper, um, it's a it's a great mindset to carry out with. Yeah, I mean, without taking up too much time more on your show, I mean, that's the point. When I moved over to the US almost five years ago now, to, uh, to you know, uh, with Mission Engineering, uh, um, that's the first thing I I kind of wanted. I had this vision of us working closer together as manufacturers i mean it's easier for us because we make you know equipment that complement other people's um, we're not competing with them so much um so it, it's an easier conversation for me to have for sure um than say two companies both making fuzz pedals or two mm. companies both making reverb i i know that there's it's not easy but there's a huge market out there and let's be honest the customer will make their mind up in the end as to which pedal they want so why don't we just work together just to generally celebrate all the advances that we're all making in terms of products that are much more creative and much more helpful and useful to the end user you know let's get their message out there and you know the, the market's big enough for all of us and i think we should we should be working together more absolutely well said well thank you very much for uh coming on and talking about your new products and the contest and i'm sure we'll hear from you soon again paul perfect thanks for inviting me back i obviously didn't upset too many viewers uh, or listeners last time. I you, you wouldn't invite to be back. <laughs> <laughs> Always welcome. For sure, for sure. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good evening. You, you too. too. Take care. Bye. Mr. Paul Shedden of Mission Engineering, who is the uh, the big mind behind the contest and a man to thank. Yeah. And it was actually actually pretty rad getting to meet him at NAM because I uh, talked to him on the phone whenever I had to do any orders or anything at Pitbull Audio involving Mission Engineering. Or we talked to him here, so it's nice to put a, a a human being to the voice on the phone now. Yeah, I actually 
didn't get a chance to, to meet anyone. Oh, okay. I was well. I I did meet Mike from uh, River Song. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, but, Mr. Miltimore. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I, I was running around doing videos mostly for uh, for, for Nam Foundation and stuff out, outside. I really didn't get to go on the floor all, all that much. Uh, so I I, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't see that that much stuff this Nam. So this is great for me. I actually get, finally get to play around with some cool pedals. For sure, is um, uh, you, I know you did go to the to the River Song booth, right? Yeah, yeah. So while that little time you did get when you weren't uh, wor uh, running around working hard for the videos for Nam Foundation and for Enter Talk Radio, did you happen to see anything in that little bit of time out there that uh, uh, got the, you interested? The one thing I, I did get to see is uh, uh, Vox uh, put out these tiny little amps now, but it, it's like. Yeah, it's like a fifty watt amp, but it's like in the size of a of a pedal. Oh, really? They're nuts. <laughs> well, I actually now that I think about it, I didn't get to go to the Vox booth, but is it like uh, they had those amp plugs, which were headphone amps you plugged right into your input and just hook up headphones? Was it those, or was it like something say the size of what's on the table here? It's not even as big as the Eventide. It's like it's the size. It's probably half the size of the the Riverside, or like two really? two thirds. Yeah, it's it's tiny. Uh, but somehow it, it pumps out. I don't remember exactly, but I think it's something like 50 watts. Really? You could just, yeah, just. Well, that's crazy. You know, uh, you know, hook it up to to a cabinet, and <laughs> it's it's nuts. That's uh, that's becoming a popular thing because one of the the things I got most excited about was from Quilter. They have their. Uh, oh, I'm gonna butcher this name. I want to say it's the Micro Power 45. It's uh, 45 watt or 33 watt, depending on the ohm output. Uh, like MXR box sized uh, amp. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. solid state, and it, yeah, you hook your guitar or pedal board right into uh, the input and the output right into a cab. And yeah. uh, like, I'm even thinking of picking one up uh, so I can have a stereo rig because I'm the only guitarist in the band, so I want to fill out the other side mm -hmm. and have mm -hmm. a little bit of wall. And I don't have to carry a combo or a head or anything to split off, just the cab, lay that on top, and perfect. And also, it has auxiliary in and a headphone output so I can jam at home uh, cool. when it's too late for me to play. Yeah, yeah. But it's uh, that's becoming a trend that's popping up, and I like it a lot. I mean, especially yeah. Quilter's been on it. I've I've even been uh, I I should start doing it. So um, a couple of weeks ago, whatever, a few weeks ago, when uh, we uh, demoed the Black Star, the little fly yes. amp. Yeah. Uh, I can imagine like just miking that thing and like running it through a PA at a show, and I'm wondering that right. might be, uh, or just taking. I I guess you could even take a line out of it. Yeah. Uh, and I wonder how that would hold up because just playing it at home, it sounds freaking phenomenal. Right. If you can dial in your sound with anything that small. And I've seen plenty of guys show up to, you know, good size gig with a little 110 or 18 yeah. amp. Yeah, yeah. Or even uh, um, like stuff like the little Dr. – I think I'm thinking uh, Dr. Z lunchbox amps mm. and just rock the freaking house. Yeah. With something that small. So, I mean, uh, it's – when I uh, I used to work at a, a restaurant lounge in San Diego called uh, Tio Leo's doing sound, and I'd ha it's a small stage, small area, and I'd have guys show up with a friggin' Marshall hundred watt and a four by twelve, and just <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Go home. Yeah, exactly. Just go go home to nineteen eighty six. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's it, it really is an ego thing at that point, but that's so unnecessary, especially since so many companies now make a uh, good lunchbox, uh, yeah. quote unquote, amps like the, uh, you know the. A tiny tear from Orange or yeah. the uh, the little Mark twenty five and thirty five watt uh, Mesa boogies and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 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 good to see. I I was starting to get jealous of bass players because bass rigs have been getting smaller and much more lightweight. Right. Yeah. Uh, and I still have to lug around, you know, a sixty five pound monstrosity usually. So it's <laughs> yeah, it, it's good that things are getting in that direction. Yeah, solid state uh, uh power powered amps become a uh, better and better you know things are getting smaller and smaller like uh, the other day i was messing with the the uh, mesa boogie subway d800 amp and i couldn't believe how just uh, that's how a much... solid state yeah huh. with uh, I, it might have two preamp but it's mostly mm -hmm. solid state uh, I, I might be wrong i i just plugged into it and jammed on uh, but it was lightweight i could put it in my backpack if i wanted to uh but i mean all kinds of, or the the that little quilter I was just talking about, mm -hmm. or even the Mach 101 Pros or anything like that. I mean, uh, these small mobile rigs are uh, doing even better. And even held, even the the amp that's in the contest, it's a uh, Supro 1600 Supreme. It's a one a 25 watt 110 with two channels. Mm -hmm. 
and it's like 33 pounds. It's yeah. nothing, and 25 watts will fill a room. That's plenty. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, like, r really, unless, whatever, if you go back to, like, the 70s where you had to just, like, th put a wall of amps on, on a huge stage for, for a concert, yeah. you really don't don't need that anymore. You need, like, one, really, one, one good uh, amp. You don't, really don't, you shouldn't have to have, like, a lot of stage vault. Depend, obviously, depending on the kind of music you're, you're playing. True. But, you know, you have... You know, mic it up. Have a good, you know, house engineer who knows what they're what they're doing, and that, that's really all you need. Also, word to the guitarists out there: put more trust in your sound engineer. <laughs> <laughs> trust is to be earned. Yeah, get, uh, but, but yeah, it's true. Yeah, and I I have come across some bad sound engineers, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I mean, like, okay, Matt Pike in in Sleeper High on Fire. Yeah, he's gonna have his wall of orange behind him. Yeah, or uh, Buzzo and the Melvins is gonna have a pretty damn powerful rig behind him but they have their sound carved out and if that's what it takes that's what it takes and those guys play pretty damn brutally mm -hmm. but um you know there's some big players out there who are just taking a 112 or a one and, or 210 put it somewhere sometimes a lot of guys put it backstage or, yeah. or facing away from facing away from the audience and just mic it up yeah like in, in smaller spaces yeah and just uh, they get the right monitor feed set up and they're good to go uh, I, I see that becoming more of a trend, even not just amongst the amps, but uh, you know, small fl people make a separate small fly rig for small gigs mm -hmm. of just you know mm -hmm. pedal train nano or the the uh, the small the smaller of the temple boards with just what they need into a little portable amp. It's a good way to go for sure. But uh, yeah, plenty of variety out there. Uh, although on the other side of it, at Nam, I did see. Uh, a couple great things. Omega Amps is a new company. I think they were making cabs before, but it was a pretty brutal amp. It could get great cleans out of it, but it, when you turned up the gain and crunch, that thing just sounded just awesome. Nice. And uh, the return of Sound City Amps, which for all the doom heads out there, <laughs> these big, uh, these big, powerful, big clean sound amps. They took they take pedals great, but uh, again, those guys that are playing old Suns. Orange Mad Amp, all the stuff I love, mm -hmm. are also big, uh, or trainers, they're all big Sound City heads, and uh, uh, Fryette uh, is bringing them back, and I tried nice. them out, and I was so happy to see that name back, and they're reasonably priced, too. Uh, let's see what else was there. I have, I have so to, I have to rely on you. I've, I saw, <laughs> saw next, to, next to nothing this year. Yeah, let's see what else did I check out. Uh, I my one of my favorite booths was going and checking out uh, Travis Bean Electrical Guitar Company. Uh, again, thanks to Kevin Burkett and Mark McElwee for being so kind to me and letting me interview them too. Uh, but you can see those uh, interviews over on um, on uh, the Pitbull Audio uh, YouTube page, and we also shared them out on the uh, Sharpen the Axe page. But I got them there with uh, with Fuzz Rocious, with Electro Faustus. With uh, Mayonis Guitars, with uh, Travis Bean slash Electrical Guitar Company, and uh, oh, I feel like I'm missing one. I'm I'm on a mix of cold medicine and exhaustion, so I'm <laughs> fading quickly. But uh, we're almost in the home stretch. Yeah, on top. Yeah, at, at least I, I I'm gonna collapse on the floor and sleep in the studio after this. But uh, what did you want to check out while you were there? Oh, uh, I didn't even have time to think about it. Um, well, always, actually, you know, the, the cool thing is now with this show, w with you bringing, you know, like super rad pedal pedals every week, pre pretty much. I, I kind of get that out of my system a lot, but, uh, <laughs> every week is Nam here at Sharpen the Axe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so at, at least I, you know, I kind of got some of my jonesing out this way, but, uh, I don't know. Oh, guitars for sure. Uh, acoustic guitars I would have liked to check out. And then just, uh, just I, I always like you know running across stuff that I don't expect. Uh, a lot of stuff in in Hall E. Um, yeah. That just f funky little in inventions that may or may not take off, but there people there are always like coming at it with like really original angles a lot of time. Yeah, you always see some interesting stuff there, and it's what's funny is you go you spend enough time you know on any uh, guitar gear site or or uh, Pitbull Audios, uh, you know ads start popping up in other places mm -hmm. and i always used to see one for the guitar triller which was this little it almost looks like a plastic toothbrush sort of thing but it it's uh bouncy and you can kind of get a, again a trill on your guitar 
And then I saw the guy had his own booth there. Hmm. And I kept passing it by like, oh, I'm going to try that out. But I didn't get to. Uh, I got to go check out uh, Gravity Picks, which you can pick up at Pitbull Audio, which uh, got one right here. It's just like a loose side acrylic pick that has a beveled edge. And I got to pick up a couple samples and try some that uh, I, I had we hadn't gotten in before. Uh, oh, at the Mayonis booth, I got to check out the new Hydra, which is their headless design, which is kind of like a like a Steinberg. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty cool. Lightweight, meant for the traveling guys. And I, if I got it right, it was based off of a du- their Duvel design. And they had a pair of new uh, uh, versions of their uh, uh, signature bases, one of them being a fretless semi-hollow, which... We had the previous incarnation in before at Pitbull Audio, and every day I would go and spend at least five, ten minutes on it in the storefront. And I am not a uh, a decent fretless player at all, but I, I sure as hell try. <laughs> uh, flat wounds on it, or uh, he had he had round wounds on round it, rounds? yeah. If, uh, uh, but I mean, yeah, by all means, put on flats or nylon tape wounds on there. Uh, what else did I get to check out? Fill dead. Fill, please fill the dead air while <laughs> I think. It's all right. We're we're almost out of time here anyway. Yeah. <laughs> we got one one minute to go. Um, but uh, but yeah, uh, go to uh, the uh, Enter Talk Radio website or the Sharpen the Axe Facebook page. Enter the contest. I mean, we've been saying it all night. All the great stuff you can win. A complete rig. You'd be crazy, really, not to enter yeah. it. It's amazing. Uh, and you can get you can get cool stuff that does stuff like glitch. <laughs> <laughs> and for all you probably guessing this yes this is all i do when i'm in my practice room at home <laughs> yep a tonal crap like that <laughs> it's 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 where i live hey it's 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 all about context in the right context this this would be exactly what's needed true yes yeah to- anything ear piercing but uh, thank you guys very, very much for for coming around, listening again, and uh, may the odds be ever in your favor. For true, and also may the force be with you. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next time. This is Sharpen the Axe on EntertalkRadio.com. Uh, That's next, we'll huh. be back with something cool yeah. next week. Yeah, we'll figure it out later. We'll come back with something cool. Always plenty of toys <laughs> coming your way. Take care. See you next time. Have a good one, guys. You know what's all around you every waking moment of your life? Marketing. You're choking on it. I'm Scott Robertson, and when it comes to strategic PR, branding, and marketing, I've seen it all. And actually, I'm still...